Hello and welcome to Dickinson's Real Deal. On this show, I help members of the public to get the very best price for their antiques and valuables. From day to day, these dealers can be a handful. You could go a little bit higher. I couldn't. No. I think you're close. I think, <laughs> I think I'm there. It's always a gamble when you go to auction. But I'm not going to send you there unless I believe there's a good chance you'll get more. 550, 580. Can he? Happy. Hammers down. Today the show comes to you from Barnsley in Yorkshire. There's a fantastic crowd of people here. Are we going to find something special? Well, I hope so. Everybody here is looking for the real deal. Hello, Jean. I'm Tim. Jean is first up with Tim Hogarth, and she's determined to get as much as she can for her pastel artwork. My secret strategy for this is I'm not telling Tim how much I want, and I'm not leaving here without £80 for it. Fair enough. You better be on best behaviour, Tim. I actually have a customer for this picture, but he's quite tight-fisted and he won't give me a huge profit. Steady on. You've got to buy it first. Now, I actually know where this picture is, believe it or not, because this picture is not too far away from where I live. It's not far away from where I live. This is Brig House, isn't it? Yes, it is. Tell me a little bit about the picture and the artist, Jean. Well, the picture is of Sugden's flour mill. This is Sugden's flour mill here, yes? Yes, and uh, the artist was a lady, a friend of mine. Mm. When she died, she left me this picture in her will. Was she a local artist then, local to the, the Huddersfield area? Yes, she was. Yes, she lived not far from me. Wow, that's interesting, yeah. yeah. I quite like it in a way because it's almost painted in a, an, an impressionist sort of style, isn't it? Obviously, it's done in a pastel. Did she exhibit anywhere? At Huddersfield Library. Um, the thing with pictures is, it's quite difficult to put a value on this if she hasn't sold in auctions before. Mm. But really, somebody in Brighouse is going to buy this, aren't they? Hopefully. In fact, I thought, you know, the owner of the mill might have been interested in it. Yeah. Oh, but I think it's been turned into a, a sports place I think now. you can abseil down abseil there down, now, Jean, yes. if you fancy it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have a go. We have a go, right. <laughs> Um, so if you were to sell it today, Jean, what would you do with the money? Well, I'd probably have one or two good meals out. <laughs> <laughs> right, Jean, money. £50. No, a little bit more than that. There's a lot of detail gone into that. Yeah. Well, that doesn't necessarily mean <laughs> I'm going to give you more than £50 for it. What about £60, Jane? I thought you were the real dealer. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, oh, we're getting personal now, aren't we? Um, I will go a little bit more, but I'm erring on the side of caution, Jane. £70. Oh, try a little bit more. <laughs> One of those pink ones would be nice. Mm. Another one of those instead of those two yeah. tens anyway. If I'm perfectly honest, I don't want to pay £100 for it, Jane. No. Um, £80. You're getting there. I think I'm there, Jane. You think you're there, <laughs> do you? I do, yeah. Another five. How have you got here today, Jane? By car. By car, right. Yes. And you've come from Brig House. I've come from Uddersfield. You've come from Uddersfield. It's a bit of a trek, isn't it? Yes, Uddersfield it is. to Barnsley. You know I'm a soft touch, don't you? Yes, I know. <laughs> you know that I'm going to give you that five or two hours your petrol money. £85, but don't ask for all else, Jean. Right. Shake right. my hand. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Time to come clean, Jean. I pushed. Him for an extra fiver for petrol and it gave it me but he didn't know that I couldn't drive. I didn't tell him I shall spend that on a little drink for myself. Jean, we thought our dealers were canny. 
Across the den, Helen Gardner is joined by Patricia. I brought in a pair of vases and I'd like at least 80 pounds. Have you had them long? I've had them a couple of years. Yeah. I've, they've been given to me by a lady that I cleaned for, for a, a long time. I see, so they were a gift for you? They were, yes. 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 Yeah, did you know they were family verb? No, I, I had no uh, idea until at all. A family verb was just French for, you know, green, uh, family green. So there was a family rose, family noir, family verb. So there was pink, black and green. Uh, so that was the descriptions of these vases that were sent by the thousands from China mm. in the late 19th century and, and still happens today. We're still making them today. Mm. But the ones that came in in the 18th century were an entirely different kettle of fish because that was at a time when Europe couldn't make porcelain. That's where we get the word China from oh, yeah. when we're having a China cotton saucer. Well, I've had a look at these vases. They're not a pair. They're slightly different. Different decorations, but they're of a type. Yes. Now, I think this one is 19th century. I suspect this one, the best it could be, is very, very late 19th century. I do think it's probably almost into the 20th century. So I think these have come in, you know, a good 20, 30, 40 years apart. So they have the, the roses and they have the bamboo and the exotic birds here. And uh, they're rather they're decorative, shall we say. So, anyway, let me put some money on the table and we'll see where we go. £50, £70, £90. How do you feel about that, my dear? Uh, I just thought they were worth just a little bit more. You think they're worth a little bit yeah. more? Well, I'm kind of not going to put much more down. How about £95? What do you think about that? Do you want some advice from David? I see him coming in here, rushing in. At high speed. <laughs> rushing in. OK. The independent value was a put a, a variety of estimations, really. We've got an 80 to a 120, and we've got a 1 to 150. Uh, not a bad offer, but it's about its money. So my advice is try and press the wee Helen, <laughs> which is not easy, I'll tell you, for a little bit more money, and say, you're taking them back to Cromarty? They'll be in the window of that shop, <laughs> and uh, I'm sure she'll be able to sell them. She knows the lead as well. <laughs> well, you heard David's advice. I'll round it up to £100, but that's as far as I'm going. Take that away. There's your £100. Now, you've got to decide whether you're going to take my 100 or try for a little more an auction. What are you going to do? I'd like to take the money, thank you. You're going to take my money? Yes, thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for bringing them in. Oh, you're welcome. Well done, Patricia. That's 20 quid more than you wanted. Coming up, the Duke's found something special. Today's competition item, I'm going to describe as an absolute Bobby Dazzler. And there's even more to celebrate in the sale room. Happy birthday to Sue. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Hey! Okay. Sue has brought along her family medals for Joe Brayshaw. They're not quite one of the mill, I believe. One of them is a French one. There you go. We'll see what happens. Let's hope you're feeling generous, Joe, as Sue will be donating any money raised to a charity close to her heart. I'm looking at this, and this is Sergeant Arthur Edward Cooper. Yeah. And he was to you? He was my husband's father's father. And um, it was the French medal, what my father-in-law used to treasure. And when he, just before he died, he gave it to my husband. He like treasured this medal and he did a lot of research around it and his aim eventually was to find out as much as he could about it but he also wanted to sell it and um, sadly my husband died last year and uh, I just thought that this is what he'd always wanted to do so perhaps I should do that for him now. You've brought five medals in today but this is the one that I'm sure 
as being yeah. the focus of everyone's attention. Because it, this isn't actually a medal that was issued by the British government, but by the French. Right. Which I find quite interesting. Well, just read this out. It's, um, it's quite interesting. It's very interesting. Um, but it says, for great devotion to duty, during the period of active operations, June 1917 to November 1918. On many occasions, he has displayed great courage, notably in the battles of Ypres, July 31st, 1917. He carried out his duties in a magnificent manner, always regardless of danger. His devotion to duty before and since the armistice has been pronounced. Tremendous, isn't it? Absolutely. Tremendous. Now we've got four other medals along here as well. Are these from the same gentleman? No, I think these belong to my father-in-law, my husband's father, from the Second From the Second World War. War. Right. Will you not be sad to see them go? I've not had any close con connection or, yeah. or anything with them. And I know for quite a while my husband were you know, trying to sell them and I, I don't want any financial gain from this. I want to donate whatever I get because right. my son, he died suddenly um, of cardiomyopathy and it's an inherited condition. The death of my son devastated the family oh, and we can't have this happen again, ever again. Okay. So whatever is raised from these medals it's got to be the cardiomyopathy association. Right. I've had a word with the auctioneer and I understand that if you went to auction he's not going to make any charges. So whatever the hammer falls at is what, it, what you would get. But I don't want you to go away from here empty-handed today. I'll definitely make a donation to the charity which you can add to it. Um, but I think that the auction would be the best option. So I'll put that on the table, take that, take these to auction and get the best for them. I was thinking of doing that anyway. Right. Um, because I've, you know, I want to capture the biggest audience, I suppose, really. Yeah. Brilliant. Well, good luck at the auction and I hope you have a really good day there. I'm sure yeah. you will. Okay, and, uh, then. Make lots of money. Thank you. Best of luck. Thanks. <laughs> Auctioneer Rob Lee has agreed to waive his commission. Let's hear what he thinks. Very good pieces. You've got all your family, all your papers with it as well. Should do quite well. Our fingers are crossed for you, Sue, as it's about to go under the hammer in the sale room. We have split the items into two lots. One lot has a reserve of £80 on it, and one lot has a reserve of £20. So let's see, first of all, uh, the Légion d'Honneur, the French Legion of Honour. An important medal. Let's see what it brings. Forced to start the bidding at 45. We're starting low. Got to be 50 to carry on. Must be 50. 50 pound, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. Needs to be 85 elsewhere. Fair warning at 80. Hammer's gonna drop at 80 pounds. That's your answer. That's the first one gone at 80 pounds. And now we have a second lot. Second World War, this is, of course, uh, and this is £20 reserve. That should sell. 10 is your opening bid. 12, 15, 18, 20 pound, 22, 25, sir. 22 in grey so far. Seems cheap, it's got to be 25 to continue. 25 is back in, 28, sir. 28, new bid. Gentleman standing in Maru at 28. Okay, it's at 28 pounds. It is past the reserve. Got to be 30 to carry on. All done, are we at 28 pound? Have we done? Okay, £28. I make that £108. There is no commission off this lot because the auctioneer kindly said he would not deduct any commission. Now, I know that you've had some tragedy in the family. You are giving this £108 in total to the Cardiomyopathy Association. That's where it's going. But I also know something else. A little bird told me that um, a young lady, it's her birthday oh. today. I'm not going to ask you how old you are. 18 years young, I suspect. A nice little bottle of bubbly there. Please get hold of that. And here we have 
a nice uh, bunch of flowers. And that is, of course, from all the crew here. Let's have a bit of a kiss. Oh, okay, so you. happy happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. <laughs> happy birthday to Sue, happy birthday to you. Hey! Okay, and now you're flowers, darling, okay? Okay. Thank you. Now, that's got to be a proper real deal, hasn't it? It certainly is. And not forgetting Joe's 20 quid donation, that makes a total of £128. Well done, Sue. Back in the den, Anne is hoping to tempt Janice Kehoe with her selection of sentimental watches. They all belong to members of my family, so I'm hoping I get a good deal today of £100. Are they all yours? Yes. And how do you come to have oh. them? Well, that one my grandma's. Yeah. That one my mother's. Yeah. And these two, uh, I think that might have been my granddad's and that one my dad's. My dad used to use that one. Oh, do, yeah. yeah. Do you remember him wearing yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, do they have lots of memories for yeah, you? Yeah, they do. And why do you want to sell them? Well, they're just stuck in a drawer, you Stuck know, in a drawer and nobody you ever know sees how them. You, you never use yeah. them and my son's not bothered about them, so yeah. I might as well let them go. Yeah. Okay, well, let's have yeah, a look at them. only can hold things so long, can't you? You can, yeah. yeah. We've got a little lady's pocket watch here that's um, seen better days. Yes. <laughs> and I think this is marked is it 375, so we, we know that's 9 karat gold. Yeah. I'll pop that on there. This watch, again, was this your... Mum's. Your mum's? Mom's. She did wear that a lot. It is an old watch, and yeah, I'm sure it, it has is. lots of memories. Yeah. Um, I think that one, and certainly this one, I'd be looking at the scrap value, yeah, really. Yeah. This one, your granddad's. Unfortunately, as this one is just a base metal, oh, yeah. there's, there's very little yeah, value yeah. in it at all. Um, and it is going. Yeah, you can yeah, see the second is. hand going yeah. around. It does work. <laughs> yeah. This one, a very decorative silver watch. Mm. If we press this, the back should open, and we can see... A hallmark there for Birmingham and a date letter of L, which I think is about 1909, and a maker's mark of GH, and there's a number 9343 there. Right, I know where I am now, so let's start. 50, 100, 120, 140 pounds. Am I getting close? No. No. Right. Well, I'll put another £10. I'll take a gamble. And we're at 150 there. What do you think, Anne? What would you like to do? There's no more, is there? No, no. I'm afraid not. I'll, no. I'll accept you. Thank Brilliant. you very much. Thank you Thank very you. much indeed. What are you going to do with the money? It's my son's birthday today, so oh. I'm, I'm going to treat him out of it. Oh, well, good luck. I hope you have a really nice uh, time with it. OK, thank right. you. That's £50 more than you wanted, Anne. You've got to be happy with that. Janice gave me a very, very good deal, and I'm very pleased. We love it when everyone's happy. I'm Jo. How do you do? Coming up, Hello, Jo's got her work cut out. I've been, what you say, a bit of the wheel of dealer. And Janice tries her hand at comedy. What do you call that? Sooty without any clothes. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Dickinson's Real Deal from Barnsley. Hello, I'm Audrey. Audrey, yes, lovely. We're nice straight to off to Joe's table where Audrey's brought in a piece of beautiful continental silver used to store snuff. How does Audrey have a lovely little silver box? I've been, what you say, a bit of the wheel of dealer. Right. <laughs> Probably had that about 40 years. Right. Yeah. And did you buy it in this country or did you buy it abroad? Yes, I bought it in this country. Right. But it was from a Polish man. And I know it's not English, so what is it? Is it's it... Dutch. Dutch. Yeah. Um, it has the Dutch um, sort of lion thing going on in the bottom. Yes. Um, I don't know if you've noticed it. Just in the bottom there. Yes. Yeah. But the thing that's so 
good about this is the decoration on the top and on the bottom. It's lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. It is. It's been a treasure. It is a treasure. Mm. I, I would guess from the style of this that it's probably from somewhere about 1890 through to about 1910. Yes, that. it's before the 1900s. I think it's Definitely. on that. Yeah, you're right, 1880s, that, 1880 yes. 1890, that sort of age. It's in lovely condition. It it's is, had it's one beautiful. or two uh, drops and dings. The hinge is working. The hinge is in really yeah. good nick. Yeah. It doesn't, uh, doesn't need any repairs. It is just ready to go. Yeah. So, let's see what we can do, eh? Hundred pounds. I would have thought a bit more than that, really. A bit more? Mm, yeah. £120. I'm taking too long, aren't I? No, no. You're the one that's applying yeah. pressure to yourself. I'm saying nothing. I'm, I, I'm a great believer. I would have thought letting people decide. A little bit want. more. Probably another 20 Um. 125. Is that your very best? That's, my, that's where I think I'm comfortable and I think I'll get a little profit out of it. Yes, yeah. You couldn't do 130. No, I'm sticking with my 125. This is where I get my name for being a tough cookie. <laughs> sticking with my 125, Audrey. I would have liked more, but I will accept that. Are you quite happy? Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much Thank for bringing you. it in, Audrey. Thank you. Yippee, I own a really cute little silver box. Over on Janice's table, Jean has brought in a classic piece of TV memorabilia and plans to donate the cash raised to the Barnsley Hospice. I've brought in a signed photograph of Sooty, which I found among some old papers in the garage. It didn't cost me anything. <laughs> Lucky you, and everyone loves Sooty. The Duke and auctioneer Rob Lee are certainly keen. This is going to take you back to being a young lad, Rob. Are you? My era. What can you tell me about um, this picture that you brought today? Well, it's a signed photograph of Sooty and Harry Corbett, yeah. who used to be the puppeteer. Sooty's daddy. Yes. <laughs> and how do you come to own this? Oh, I can't tell you at the moment. Oh, OK. I'll tell you when we've finished. All right. OK. okay. Well, I remember Sooty. Sooty's very famous. He's been on lots of television shows, including, I believe, Spitting Image. Have I got news for you? And he was with Peter Kay doing a video, Show Me The Way To Amarillo. So he's still working hard, is Sooty even though he must be 70, 80 years old, he's doing well. What do you call that? Yeah. Sooty without any clothes, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now Rob, on this show we like to spread our wings when we talk about works of art, rarities, objects, and here we've got something which takes you back to being a young lad. Wonderful thing. Really? Vintage, isn't it? Yeah. Fantastic. Will you be bidding for this yourself? I had a few spare quid I might do. Uh, OK. Where are you going to place your estimation on this? Maybe 30 to 40 pounds. I think the independents say something similar. 30 to 40 quid. Janice is looking in her purse. I'm going to say, Izzy Wizzy, let's get busy. Come on, Janice. As I say, sooty autographs are very common. I'm afraid. So, how about ten pounds? No, definitely not. Um, okay, we'll put another five on and go to fifteen. That is where I see Sooty's autograph. At, I'm afraid. I don't think Janice likes Sooty. I'd better get in there and see what we can do. I don't feel I can pay more. But here's David to give you some advice. Well. It's a difficult thing to value, but they say 30 to 40. Mm -hmm. I think it's probably worth a little bit more. Right. It's either 15 pounds, because I don't think we're going to persuade Janice to pay any more, or do we go and see what they say at the auction? 
We'll take it to auction then. I think it's probably worth a gamble. Izzy, Wizzy, let's get busy <laughs> at the auction. <laughs> Are you going to sweep it away to auction Absolutely. then? Absolutely. Brilliant. Yeah. Good luck. Okay. Thanks, Thanks very much. And can you tell me where you got it from now? Among some old papers in the garage that I was sorting out. Oh, fantastic. So it's well been done. there a long time. Yeah, it's kept very well. <laughs>I thought he used to say, Izzy Wizzy, let's get bidding. Didn't he? <laughs> 20 pounds is your opening bid. 22, I need to carry on. 22, 25, 28, 30 pound. 30 pound reserve, it's gone past that. 35, sir. 35, gentlemen standing. 40 pound. Anybody else for 45? Got to be 45 to continue. It's gonna sell at 40 pound. Fair warning at 40. Okay. <laughs> Forty pounds. He got past the reserve of thirty pounds. That is going to the Barnsley Hospice Charity. On the day, are you happy? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Nice day. Brilliant. Okay. Good day. We've had a bit of a laugh. We've <laughs> gathered some money up for the Barnsley Hospice, and on the day, well, what more can I say? It was the real deal. <laughs> well done, Jean. Eight uh, coming up. Tim's table is a wash with money. You're liking this, aren't you? Well, yeah, I still like a bit more there. <laughs> 20. What's making him so generous? <laughs> Welcome back to Dickinson's Real Deal. Please Helen has been Hello. joined by Anne. What have you got for us? Today I've brought in some stereo cards and viewers. I think I want over £100 for them, 120 something like that. Not less than that. Tell me all about it. Tell me where did you get it and tell me what you know about it. Well, I got it out of my loft. It belongs to part of a collection of my husband's mm -hmm. who collects old cameras and uh, stereoscopes. Um, they've been in the loft for quite some time now and we're moving house, so it's time to start move getting, along. move some things around, get rid of a few things. Uh, you've got an amazing array of, of views here and predominantly the First World War, mm -hmm. although there are some from a great exhibition here. So a stereoscope is late 19th century, some of these are early 20th century, and these are a selection of viewers. You have a viewer like this, mm -hmm. and then there's a bit more sophisticated one here in a nice box. I think they're extremely interesting. I'm gonna have a little look here. So we've got some First World War slides here. We pop it in here, and then you look through, it's interesting, now this particular one I'm looking at is a view of them going over the top. Yeah. A lot of these would have been staged yes. for the camera at the time. And this is a Scottish regiment, and that's why I've pulled this one out, because they're in the kilts. And this is them getting that's a little nice. respite yes. in the trenches. So I think it's quite a poignant little selection. Mm -hmm. It, it resonated the social history yes. of the whole period. So that is, that's interesting. I don't know what I'm going to pay for these, if you'll let me buy them. Well, I put some money down, Anne. Please. So I'm going to start with 20, 40, 60, 80 pounds, Anne. How are you feeling about that? I think you've made a good start. <laughs> I've made a good start. Let me put down 100 pounds. Now, how do you feel about that? I think it's worth more than £100. Here's David with some advice. Well, 
here you've got a variety of viewers for different styles of cards but what makes this very attractive is the sheer amount of cards 100 to 150 150 to 250 so quite a wide variety Thank I you. think because of the sheer size of the collection and how comprehensive it is it's worth more Thank you. Well, there you go, Anne. David's right. advice, as always. It's with you. It's with me now, so I better up the ante a little bit. Mm -hmm. So let's say 120, 140, 150 pounds. That's nearly there. It's nearly there. That's a much better <laughs> offer, and I'm trying because I, I do like the regiments. Let me just round it off. 160, 175 pounds, and you're going to have to get well over 200 to get that. What do you think? I was hoping for 200. Mm. We're not far apart. 175, 200, could we meet somewhere in the middle there? 190? Okay, Anne, we'll do 190. 190. Would you be happy with yeah, 190? 190. So what's that? That's 175, 180, 190. Will you shake my hand? I will. Yes, and thank you for being in such an interesting thing. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Wow, and £70 more than you wanted. Moving straight on, Tim's feeling pretty confident about Mandy's glittering collection. Nice parcel of gold, it always excites me and I always buy it, it's easy, it's a walk in the park for Timmy. I'm sitting down with Tim today because I'm told he's the gold bullion man but I'm not leaving with less than £1,500. Blimey, hope you brought enough cash Tim. So tell me how you've acquired all this gold. Um, Probably I started collecting it when I was around about 18. It was the fashion in it the was, 80s? It was. I started with the bracelet off, the charm bracelet, and then... You added a charm. I did a charm each birthday. And a charm. And a charm, yeah. So that's how it started. With I've got other jewellery at home, but stuff with more sentimental value. Because, I mean, what you said is, in the 1980s, mm. it was hugely popular. It was, Massive. Yeah. All young girls had gold. Did you have a perm? I did, yeah. <laughs> I knew you would. <laughs> and your little half sovereign, sovereign rings yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. And you used to get yourself down to the jewellers, didn't you? I did, yeah. Well, I'm originally from Birmingham, so uh, right by the jewellery quarter. The right yeah. place to buy it there. So that was, I used to work in a pub, so the money I used to earn from that, I used to go down the jewellery quarter and buy my charms. Oh, well this could probably be a very good investment for you. Hopefully. So, just quickly to talk through it, all these items here mm -hmm. are 9 karat gold. They are, yeah. And this is 22 karat gold. Mm -hmm. You've got two half sovereigns, yeah. one full sovereign, yeah. and they are in 9 karat mounts. They are. So, your total weight here is 143 grams of 9 karat, mm -hmm. and then you've got 20 grams of 22 carat. Okay. So if I was to buy this today, what would you spend the money on? I've recently moved to Yorkshire and uh, we've got a, a dry stone wall. That, oh, it's expensive. That's Amanda. just fallen down and I'm told it's about three and a half, four thousand pounds to put it back up so it'll go towards that. Dry stone wall is a do you do. It is. Yeah. So you, you, you're going to have a contribution <laughs> here. <laughs> contribution. Yeah. Right. Let's do money. 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, 350, 400, 450, 500, 550, 600, now we're going into 20s. <laughs> <laughs> Looks more anyway. Well it does. We've <laughs> got 600 there Amanda. 620, 40, 60, 80, 700, 720, 40, 60, 80, 800, 820, 840, 860, 880, 900, 920, 940, 960, 980, 1000. Oh, it's looking good, isn't it? All your 
about it. I haven't finished yet. I'm just okay. preambling All along. Right. Okay. So there's a thousand pounds there. I'm going to do them in hundreds. <laughs> Eleven hundred. Just have to put them neat like you. You do. Are you counting with me? I am, yeah. So what's that? Thirteen hundred. You're liking this, aren't you? Well, yeah, I still like a bit more there. <laughs> Eighty. Fourteen. Do, do you think I ought to start here? So we've got a big space. I think you're doing a very good right. job. Yeah. Fifteen hundred. <laughs> Twenty. Forty. Fifty. Fifteen. Mm, I don't know whether I want to put that one there. I will, but... Mm, mm. Do you not think that's a good deal? Yeah, it's, it's good, but I still think there's still a bit more to come. A bit more? <laughs> <laughs> will, it, will it only be... A bit. Right, okay. Put that with the other now, Mandy. That's about 16. 16. I'll turn it that way so all the. All the... Right. Okay. What do we think now? I think you're close. I think, <laughs> I think I'm there. You think you're there? I do, yeah. The best place is here to sell this. If you were to take this to the auction, you would immediately lose 15% of that. Because that's as far as you're going to go. I need my wall fixing. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've had many people ask for many things on Dickinson's yeah. Real Deal, but not a wall. So, have we got a deal, Manda? I think so, yeah. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. I've got my money here, and this is going towards my drystone wall, so Tim is now my new best friend. So every time I look at the wall, I think of Tim. So, Mandy's sitting pretty. But how about our dealers? In last place is Janice, as she only bought four watches for £150. Because of their condition and the damage to them, they will have to go for scrap. But she hasn't been able to sell them yet, so no profit for Janice today. Jo found it hard going too. No, I'm sticking with my 125. This is where I get my name for being a tough cookie. And she was right to, as there was only £25 left in Audrey's silver snuff box. Thank you for being in such an... Today's runner-up is Helen. She had high expectations for the stereo cards. Somehow or another, I'm going to make a profit on these. But she hasn't found a buyer. She did do better with the 19th century Chinese vases, as she realised they weren't identical. And there's a different pattern around the top of this one to this one. So she sold them separately. One went for a whopping £95, the other a satisfactory £45. So, in first place is Tim, although he did lose a fiver buying Jean's pastel artwork. I pushed Tim for an extra fiver for petrol and it gave it me, but he didn't know that I couldn't drive. But a local brick house resident snapped his hand off for it, offering him 100 quid. He paid all the money for Mandy's collection of gold. I think you're close. I think, <laughs> I think I'm there. Andy was right to stop at £1,600, as he only made 50 quid. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. But outshining even Tim were Sue and Jean, who took their items to auction to raise more money for charity. Excuse me, sir. This is going to a hospice, so anything we get, straight to the hospice. OK. And the good people of Yorkshire didn't let them down. 70, 75, 80. Hammer's going to drop an £80. They bought the lot, donating £168 for two wonderful causes. Thank you, everyone. It's been a really exciting day here in Barnsley. A great crowd of people turned up, a lot of excitement. Some wonderful things came through the door. The usual buying and selling. You can hear them enjoying themselves over there. That's what this show is all about. Don't forget to join me, David Dickinson, next time for Dickinson's Real Deal. See you.